Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I can't find him. I don't know where he is. Where the hell is he? Oh, he's gonna absolutely love it. What's going on guys and well, welcome back to the channel. Now I am holding here Timmy. Many of you know Timmy. Timmy! He is my awesome musk turtle and very recently I lost him. Well, I thought I lost him. Let, let me show you. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I can't find him. I, I, I don't know. I can't find him anywhere. I've absolutely trashed the tank trying to find him. But normally when I come in the morning, he's always here at the front. He, he's always here. He's not here. I can't find him. I've checked down the floor. I've checked everywhere. He could possibly have climbed up this sick. Oh, the, the plants are already dead. They died ages ago because of the change in temperature from being outside to inside. Uh, but I've just just pulled it all up and it's just made such a mess but i don't know where he is where the hell is he oh my goodness thank goodness thank god thank god oh i was so scared right i've completely trashed escape i don't care i just found timmy timmy is buried there look there he is timmy hopefully you're okay yeah he's completely fine apparently uh, apparently turtles do this from time to time when it becomes the winter season, they try to hibernate. The, the, the tank water temperature is quite warm, um, so I'm not sure quite why he's doing that. Or maybe he was just having a little rest. But yesterday he was, he was fine, but today, yeah, he's, uh, he's found a nice little spot in here. And he's okay, anyway, so, you okay, mate? Yeah, all good. Oh, he wants to go for a run. Go on then. <laughs> oh, he's so good. Right, I'm gonna have to sort this out now, though. He can't stay like this, can he? I'm going to have to um, rescape it. I'm going to do something simple because I've got a big plan for him. This was all going to be changed soon anyway, so I'm just going to set something up nice and simple now for him so I can see him at all times. Oh, panic over. Thank goodness. I just want to quickly say, guys, there's no way detrimental for me at all to stop Timmy from hibernating. Timmy's an indoor turtle. Now, outdoor turtles, they hibernate when it gets close to freezing temperatures. They can survive for quite a long time like that. Obviously, under the soil is more warm than on the surface and in the air. But we're in a temperature control studio and there's no requirement for the turtle to hibernate and he'll be absolutely fine. I just thought I'd let you guys know that in case you were worried about me stopping him hibernating. But anyway, back to the build. So whilst I clean the rest of the tank out, I'm just going to put little, <laughs> hello buddy, little Timmy temporarily in this little tiny tank on the desk here. It's the same water, it's all warm, it's all good. Little rock for him to per perch on if he wants to as well. Um, but yeah, that'll do just whilst we're setting everything up. Come on then. Up you come. And in you go in your temporary home. Yeah, he's not going to like that for a minute, but it'll, it'll settle down soon. So that's the tank all cleaned out. Now, having cleaned it and looking at it, I think I want to do something completely different with this tank for something else entirely. To be honest, it's plenty big enough for Timmy. As you've seen, he's only absolutely tiny. But I just feel like we could do something better and I can use that for something completely different. So let's give him a different aquarium, a bigger one and an upgrade. Does that sound good to you, Timmy? Yes, I would very much like the big, big tank. I don't know why he's bore at, sorry. <laughs> so now that's clear guys, I wanna set up a new tank for Timmy in here. I think it'll look really good. I'm currently using it just as a uh, sort of greenhouse, if you like, for some of these plants, but I wanna actually put them submerged now so that they're converted already and ready to go in tanks. Now I've got some space on some of these areas here where I can put some tanks and I've got some free tanks down, oh, not my finger, down there, there and there. You know, I've got places I can put them and obviously in the other studio as well. <laughs> Yeah, so in studio number two, look, I've got these tanks. Now there's loads of space that, you know, plenty of room, there's gaps here and there. Enough anyway for us to spread all those other plants about. Like, subscribe. There we go, a clear canvas to start. I was gonna say pallet then, but that's not the pallet. The pallet is the hardscape. And that brings me to the next point. I'm just gonna get some hardscape in and get going. I, I, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Well, I've got a rough idea, but I'm just gonna get stuff in and start moving it around. But let's go into the other studio and look at the hardscape selection. Okay, here it all is. Lots and lots and lots to pick from, but it needs to be simple. I want it simple so I can see my turtle, feed him lots, clean it easy, that sort of thing. I mean, in a tank like that, the turtle is the star of the show, so you don't need to go silly, but, right, I am really liking these, but I think I can do something cool with these massive ones down the bottom. Again, it keeps it simple then, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll do that. 
think these three stones will be really good, but I don't want to put them straight down onto the glass. Probably be okay, but I don't want to take any risks. So I need to put the sand in first. I haven't got any, so I'm just going to go and get some. So I've decided before I go any further, I want to put a black backing on the background there. I just think like everything will pop so much better with a black background, especially against that white wall. Right, light on, background on, no substrates yet. Oh, by the way, this is a handmade sort of uh, unit that I made for this tank ages ago. Don't worry, it's not gonna crack. <laughs> I've had water in it for over a year before with it on this, it works really well. That is, Those three pieces are perfectly flush, it's all good. Right, so I've got my sand, it's the Unipack Silver. I think that'll go really well with the turtle, just give it that really sort of beachy look. And I'm gonna get that in, but first of all, I wanna put a layer of volcano mineral down. This just stops any sort of thick sand beds compacting and causing any issues down the line. So you can see the front area I've left clear. That's because we don't want to be able to see the volcano mineral or crushed lava, lava rock. That's what that is, just lava rock crushed up. We don't want to see it in the foreground, so I've left that clear and the sand will just look nice in the front. What that is, is a little media bag. It's all made of plastic. It's got a plastic zip on it and everything. That's full of the, uh, the lava rock as well. And that's just to give us some extra height ready to put the rocks onto, because I obviously I want to make sure that the rocks are coming out of the water. Timmy needs to bask and we're creating a height to, to get the basking area effectively. That looks really tidy. Now there's a good inch at the front there. Let me come to the side. Inch at the front, leading to a couple of inches at the back. Just need to make sure you cover all of that gravel because turtles will try and eat it and it could get stuck in their little bellies and then that would probably kill them ultimately. Normally does unless they have an operation. And who knows how to operate on a turtle, let's be honest, like in your local area. So yeah, cover the gravel. Basically, they do like to dig, but he tends to only want to do that at the front and there's no gravel underneath there anyway. Um, he won't bother at the back, especially with what I've got planned to put in for the skate. But next, we need to get those big rocks in. In this area is where I want to mainly put them and build them up. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Just fiddle around with stuff until you're happy or I'm happy. Right guys, turtles are stupid. So there's a couple of things I've done there. I've moved it away from the glass. So there is a channel now that Timmy can easily get through. I know that looks small, but Timmy's like, like that big there. So I've pulled that away so you can get all the way around. Same at the back, you can get all the way around the back if he needs to. And I can visually see all these areas, which is really good. Uh, I turned the rock as well, so it's up this way, which means that the top will be peeking out of water and Timmy will just be able to sort of float on and gently rest on the top. Cause that's where the water line is gonna be about up, up to that high, which I think will look really, really good. Loads of swimming room, loads of areas for him. Uh, next up though, I want to, hmm, what do I wanna do? Right, I wanna fill in the gaps. So there's gaps in there. You know, can you see that down there? 
he'll try and get down there. I mean, they're stupid. That he will try to get himself stuck. <laughs> they just do that. So we're gonna try and close those gaps with some more sand. I expect many of you will ask is like, how do you know those rocks are aquarium safe? Well, basically you want to avoid stuff like limestones because they sort of break down and fizz and bubble over time. And yeah, you don't want those. A oh, good way of testing down here in my little trolley of stuff. I've got a little pot of hydro, oh, I won't focus. There we go. I've got a little pot of hydrochloric acid, 5% solution. When I bought these rocks, I put a little bit of that on there. If it doesn't fizz, you're okay. If it does fizz, you don't want to use them. So crazy, crazy simple for this one, guys. That is the point I want it simplistic. That is so that I can care for the turtle in a better way but still have it look good so three rocks nice little step up step up and then the water level will obviously be just over the top but in terms of planting i want again simple i want to keep my plants with their weights on so i can just bury the weights in the sand and then that way if i want to i can pull them out easy clean them clean the sand all of that sort of thing it just makes it nice and simple but it should be really impactful as well because i want to have them at the background only and a couple of tufts in the foreground and then completely open and i think that'll look really good with timmy swimming about everywhere as well and yeah, I want to use some of these plants. So I've got tufts of pearl weed I've, I've saved for my other um, tanks. I've got myophyllum back there, which is really green. And that is one that I've also got over here in the better sorority. You see that one in the background there? Super rick, super green one, not super green. That's not a thing. <laughs> super green one. I'm going to use that one, I think, as well. Thing is, it's very tall, so I can actually cut it up and sort of bunch it again, if you like. And then I've also got some really nice Blix of Japonica, which is that one there. You'll see it better in the tank in a minute, but if I get them all out, put them in, and then fill it up with water, we should be winning. Oh, there we go. Look, they didn't get simpler than that, does it? Just three little tufts there, but instantly it gives it that really cool contemporary look. It's not over complicated. And yeah, I think it's gonna look great. Basically, I want a wall of green at the back now, tapering like the shape of the stone. So going in an arch, I'm gonna plant them first and then maybe trim them to the shape afterwards. Or maybe I'll just plant them at different depths so they look like that anyway. Saying that, it's gonna be the pearl weed, which is down there, look. It's easier to plant this stuff when it's already got water in. If I put it in now, it'll flop over, tangle up, all of that. So if I fill it up with water where I want it and then plant, that'll be easier, I think. So that's the Blix of Japonica in, and that just like that looks sick, doesn't it? I, I kind of feel like I want to just stop there, but I think I should give the other plants a chance. So I'm going to put them just in the back, sort of peeking around the stone, and just keeping this negative space all around. It'll be a really good area for Timmy to swim in as well. Oh yes, I was contemplating not adding the uh, pearl weed, but I'm so glad I have. Look, just little hints of it at the side. That grows fast, but I can easily just go snip, snip, and just keep that sort of circular shape, keep that gap to the side. So just put those filter inlet and outlet at the side there, you can see all the pipe work, don't like it. And then I remembered, well, why don't I just put it behind it and then have it looping over and then coming off at a right angle. So yeah, I'll do that and look much better. So there we are, ready to go. Everything's primed, ready to turn on. 
I'm not entirely sure about the spray bar, if that's gonna work or not. If it doesn't, I'm gonna take a piece of that clear plastic and just extend it downwards so that it, it's at the level of the water for the outlet rather than the spray bar just being sort of like a, a duck bill, you know, spout thing. But we'll give it a go like this just to see how it works. It, it might be good, it might just be really trickly and loud, but I have faced it against the glass so it runs down the back, so hopefully it'll be all right. It's trickling at the moment because it's just waiting for all the air bubbles to clear. But once they are, then it should be powerful enough. Yeah, there we go. Starting to go now and just shooting straight at the back against the wall. Apart from that last one, but that's because I've managed to put a clip right over an outlet hole. But I'll sort that out in a minute. So most of the air bubbles are out now. So yeah, look, just a nice little trickle. I think that works really well. On to lighting. This light is just like a cheap little generic LED. It's not going to cut it, is it, in terms of the needs for the turtle. The turtle needs UVB and UVA, so heat and ultraviolet light. And we can get that in the form of a special bulb. Now this is the bulb I was using, which is UVB. There's a bit of heat that comes off, that's why all the plants melted, but not really enough. So I've upgraded to this Arcadia Mercury Vapor, but I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> UVB, UVA, and that's what I know. It's 100 watts, so it's not it's not a weak one. It's quite strong. We need to make sure we're testing the area, you know, the heat spot, to make sure that it's the right temperature for, for our turtle. Not that musk turtles really bask that much, to be honest, but still, they, they need to have the option. So I'm going to clip that on, and we can just have a little look at it. Oh yes, I mean, it's not the prettiest thing, but it's also oddly cool looking as well because it's so out of place. I don't know, I don't mind it. Maybe I should put it back one though, behind that light. Let me try that. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks a little better, doesn't it? So what I need to do now is put my thermometer on there and just leave it there and see what temperature it's sitting at. Right, we're good. The temperature gauge is showing uh, 28 degrees C, which is like 82 Fahrenheit. Perfect temperature for the turtle to bask. I mean, that's a good angle. He should be able to just sort of float up there. If not, I can almost raise the water level a little bit more to help him get on. But to be honest, as I've said, must turtles, they don't really bask that much anyway. But there's one more thing we need to do before we're ready to go in, or a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to put a couple of little root tabs in just where the plants are, because this is just plain sand, isn't it? I mean, there's no nutrients in it. If we just put a couple of root tabs, there'll be, there'll be plenty of nutrients then for those plants just to keep growing nicely. And to be honest, they're already doing really well from where they were previously, from where I got them from. Really nice vivid green to them. And you know what, I think I just want to try, just to see how it looks, one last extra rock in that area there, just to fill out a little bit of that space, a nice flat one, and then we'll see how that looks. Oh yeah guys, I think that fully completes the look. I just had it like on a slight angle down, just following the slight angle of that one. That one goes that way, then we've got the basket one. Yeah, that's perfect. That's just the right amount, I think. Still got a negative space, but it's not just too open in one corner. It gives, you know, Timmy somewhere else to perch on as he's leaning up to this rock. Oh yeah, perfect. There we go, look, I think that worked out quite well. Add in a little bit of greenery on the outside of the tank and really just sort of help to set it off. I don't know, it just, it sets the scene, if you like. I, I like doing it, some people don't. They just like a real plain square look, a full like tidy, if you like, but we've got the neatness inside the aquarium, so it's good to have a little bit of nature outside, I think anyway. We can't have anything actually coming out of the water because the plant will just cook it. I tried it before, it, it, it won't work, so. I mean, these leaves here might actually be too close. Time will tell. I'll move it away if it is, but feeling my hand, it's almost like that area there is not where the light's going. It's, it's going this way, and then literally here it's cool, and then here it's hot, so we should be okay. Maybe, maybe not. I'll move it if otherwise there's a problem or anything. The time's come. I'm ready to put Timmy into his new tank. I'm really excited for this one. I don't know why. I just feel like he's really going to like the open space. Uh, or maybe it would just be really scared and hide. Anyway, let's just put him in and find out. Timmy, 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 Timmy. You poor guy, he's been stuck in here all day. Well, while I've been setting it all up. It's not gonna hurt him, there he is. 
Right, Timmy, you coming out? Come on, everyone wants to see you go in. No, hang on, let's just move that rock. I don't want him to get squished. Out you come. <laughs> there he is. Come on then, fella. Let's go and see your new home. <laughs> oh, he's gonna absolutely love it. Right then, Timmy, in you go. Now, the best thing with turtles is to make sure you put them sort of out of water first and they will find their own way in and then they're not shocked by the situation. <laughs> <laughs> look at how cute he looks just sat there look from a distance that's how big the tank is guys a few people on the instagram were saying oh it looks smaller than his current tank no 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 look at how much space there is come on little fellow you're gonna go in you're gonna go in at all oh bless his little heart look at him look at your space look at your hope way there we go yes he's in oh look at how well he stands out as well oh he looks great i don't want to go too close because i don't want to freak him out I'm just gonna let him chill out for a while, I think, guys. Right, it's the next morning, guys. I've come back. Timmy seems to have found a nice little place he likes to just stick his head out from and have a look. I just placed his food here, and he knows that this yellow means food. I've trained him just to sort of recognize that yellowness. There you go, see? <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> okay, hang on, let me get the food. Right, I like to just pick it up with these little tweezers. Come over. Hello, buddy, he's still looking for it. There you go, ready? I just present it to him and I let him come to it and just snatch it of his beak. Whoa! There we go. Now that looks massive, which it is. There we go. He does that. He lets it fall to the surface. He'll swim up. Timmy, don't let me down. Go on, buddy. Go on, buddy. And then he munches it and catches it again. Or he will do when he spots where it is. <laughs> Sometimes you have to help the little fella. It's all right. Look, there you go. There you go, and it softens over time and it'll just bite bits off and then they'll float around a tank and it'll just go around and pick them up as he goes. He, he tries to take it away with him. No, this is mine. I can still see you, Timmy. <laughs> yeah, so it's starting to soften now, which means that when he bites it in a minute, a bit will break off in his mouth and the rest will go up to the surface. Now turtles actually need the water to be able to swallow their food. So if you ever get a turtle and you try and feed it on the like sort of basking dock, he will always take it into the water, or she will always take it into the water because they don't like, well, they can't swallow unless it's with water. Just leave him to that in a minute and let him have his meal. 